people, you guys, they're paid to stop people in front of an elementary school. I'm exposing all of them. I don't give a damn what they think. I'm going to expose all of them. I'm going to sit there and record them so y'all can get their faces online. These people right there, you drop your kids off now and you're supposed to keep it moving. You're not supposed to congregate in front of a school, but these people are doing it. And the thing that I know that they're involved in the stocking is because these people will keep their eye on me. They're not keeping their eye on their kids. They're not worrying about their kids. They're making sure that they keep their eye on me. And as soon as I leave, you guys, they get ready to leave. So that's why I'm trying to get y'all to understand. These people get paid to harass you. But every time they do it, I don't care. I'm about to start recording. And if I made a mistake and they want to ask why you recorded, I'm going to say I'm documenting, sir, because there's so much stuff going on in Riverside. I have to document everybody that I feel is trying to cause a harassment or intimidation within their, my community. If it's not you, you have nothing to worry about. But I dare somebody ask me why you're recording because those are, it's like you have a spiritual connection where you know who was doing what and who was not doing what. I don't care what you say. It can be a room full of a thousand men. Out of those thousand men, you will have the spiritual connection of who is against you because you have an aura. This is not a war against race. This is a war against evil, against good. And if you have a good evil, it's something about a good presence. I'm sorry. It's something about these evil people. You can wing them out of, it's like they say, finding the needle in a haystack. That's how bad it is. Like you can just connect the aura and you just boom, glance eyes. And I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Where you can be walking or you going to the grocery store and you can pick out who is the ones that's going to follow you to the register. Or who is the ones that's going to follow you out of the store. It's just weird that that aura connects to them. But guess what? Videotape them and expose them so somebody in your community might know them and say, shame on you. Harassing innocent people. That's my goal for now on. Anybody that I feel is standing in front of, especially my kids' school, in order to harass me, you evil piece of crap, because you shouldn't be around no kids at all. So I'm going to videotape and see what you're doing to these kids. Because for my thing is, the rule of policy is drop your kids off and leave no more congregating around the school is to make the school safe. So why you still have people that don't even have their kids in their presence and not even watching the kids hanging around an elementary school? That screams pedophile to me. Why you want to linger around a dang elementary school? You got nothing better else to do? You don't got to go to work? You don't got to clean your house? You don't got to find no pets or something that you want to linger? So to me, even if you're not stalking or not a part of this harassment community, your picture is going on my phone and posted on my Facebook as well as YouTube that you are lingering around an elementary school congregating. That doesn't make no sense. So this video is going to be short. I'm just letting you guys know. This is not a race war. This is just a evil versus good. And some of you guys are proclaiming like, well, I'm not spiritual, so it's not a spiritual war. It is a spiritual war in the end because it's your spirit that connects you to you. It's your spirit that they're afraid of. It's your spirit that makes them want to run and put you in this community um, harassment based tactics because they want to break you down because some reason you have a good spirit you might not be going around praising God and order this and this but you have a spirit that will stay in the end when we go to war against the devil in this army your spirit is already seen to be chosen as the ones that's going to fight against them you're not going to join that team and that's what they're mad about so they don't like you so it's not right now you probably like struggling like you know what? It's not spiritual because I know I'm not spiritual. Technically, if you a good person, have a good heart, you are on a spiritual connection with God. Maybe you not know, maybe you didn't cross over yet. Maybe you didn't wake up and it hit you yet. But technically, that's how I see it. Because why else are they attacking you? They see something in you that you don't even see. So the ones that are sitting there depressed, don't be depressed because some reason they fear you. Because, you know, at the end, the battle is, whoo, it's going to get deep, y'all. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's getting closer and closer as we watch the TV. Uh, book, book of Revelations, it states that people will betray people. Man will betray man. Father will betray son. Okay? Think about it. If you being betrayed right now, it's getting closer to the end. It says there will be speculation of war. Listen to the TV. There is speculation of war due to what? 
our president has lashed out about the, you know, things he was saying. We're not going to go into that. But read it in Revelation. This stuff I didn't make up. This stuff that I read about. But all right, you guys, please, like I said, I'm going to keep it short. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day because I am. This stuff don't bother me no more. It makes me laugh how they think that it creates fear. It don't create fear. It empowers me to get off my butt and do something about it. I hope one day y'all get to that point because, you know, when it comes to this hanging around elementary schools, that's doing too much. Okay, you can do it in the stores, McDonald's. But when you're doing that at somebody's school, you're doing too much because mentally people will do anything they can to protect their child. I'm one of those parents. I'm going to protect my child any way is necessary. So I'm getting everybody pictured that want to hang around my kid's school because if something happens to any one of those kids up there, I'm turning you in, even if you have nothing to do with it. They need to check you out. Why are you hanging around at school when your kid has already entered the school? There's no kids outside but you. That's kind of creepy. Are you waiting to, to creep your way into school? What's going on with you? So that's what I'm saying. So don't be scared. Like, oh, I'm scared to pull up my phone and video. They ain't scared to stand there and watch you in your face. So pull out your little phones, you guys, and record these people and post it. Because you never know. What, would it be, what, what if you post a video and, I, and it might be somebody I know? I can go to that person and be like, I dare you harass these people in the community. Do you know what you got yourself into? So that's the reason why my goal is to post these pictures of these people. Because it might be somebody you know. There's some sick people in this world, y'all. But anyways, like I know I keep saying I'm making it short. But every time I want to hang up, I just got to vent some more and some more and some more and some more and some more. But yeah, because I even got pictures, you guys, of evidence in regards to the gas company. Have anybody seen like five gas company trucks in one day? Only in your direction that you have to travel. Not like, oh, it was on this side of town. No, on one like direction, like a couple of blocks of each other. I usually notice like when they want to read the meters, they'll send like one truck to do that one area. It was like five trucks, one in the corner, one parked around the corner. One turning down the lane I was driving down. I was like, wow, the gas company is on point today. They got five of y'all out here. And I took pictures of that. I might post a video of that. But sometimes when I have, like, good evidence, I don't post it. Because when you post all your evidence, you're giving them time to rebuttal to have a comeback, to figure out something. If you had to take it to court or allegations, they already know what you already planned. You know what I'm saying? So they want ahead of you because you posting all your little information. So they can get there and be like, oh, that's because on this day, you just make up some stuff. But if you hit them with stuff that is unseen, unknown, and they have no explanation for it, they can't. Some people can't think on their toes with a lie. But if you're giving all your evidence to them, they're ready to rebuttal against you and be like, you know what? Yes, we know about that day because on that day, we was in training. So that's why we have so many gas trucks on it you know so i don't post everything that i have but i have some good evidence y'all that will creep you out like dang people that stupid to do it in front of you because i don't think they know i'll be recording i really don't think they do or they don't care are they so stupid because they're placing this program because they're thinking they're helping so they like want to feel empowered like superman and be like duh, 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 duh. i'm here to save the day don't worry you guys i got her and you be looking at these people like are you really gonna do this Cause this one lady y'all was following me around the thing. You could have swear she was undercover security with her kids and all. I'm recording. My son's like, Mom, let's pretend my mom my son is like, let's go get some napkins. And you know, just to see if she's gonna go on out. Why is she going the same out too? Like, I gotta get napkins too. Then we go, I go, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So I go, let's go get some milk. We say this out loud. She jumps on the hour, you go get me. We recording all this cracking up. Like, wow, is she under some kind of control? Because who's that naive to not see I was playing? You know, and I have it on video. Then she tried to talk to me. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't like interacting with people that conduct evil tactics. She said, what? What? I said, I don't know. Something about your spirit. I just can't take. So I'm sorry I refuse to talk to you. She got mad. I was like, well, don't join this little thing and thinking that everybody is naive and don't know what she's doing. I said, and I said, oh, I will never enter my kids. into Because she had, like, kids with her. It wasn't her kids. It was grandkids. Crazy, right? All right, y'all. I'm really out this time. Deuces.